Hi, YouTubers and wet chambers everywhere. It's Mark with GeorgeTune.com. I'm back with another Monday morning mailbag. Get yourself a cup of coffee, kick back, relax. Let's talk some wet shaving and some other stuff. What do you got this morning? Hang on. Yeah, yeah, I have got a really terrific coffee. I've got uh, from Trader Joe's, Joe Coffee. This stuff is really, really good. It says here, um, Joe, an exceptionally... An exceptionally smooth cup of coffee, medium roast, 100% Arabica ground coffee. Yeah, it is very, very smooth, just like my shaves, very nice and smooth. I like my coffees and my shaves the same way, smooth. Uh, yeah, really good. It's kind of a dark, overcast morning here this morning. We've had rain all weekend, and uh, you see I have some lights on here to light it because I opened up the windows, and it is cloudy and rainy and overcast here in the uh, early morning hours so that's why you see that uh, here uh, I'm also using a plain coffee mug because I had a beautiful coffee mug lined up I went to uh, a local Goodwill store that just opened in the area I usually go in there just to look for some shaving mugs like an old spice mug that kind of thing if I come across anything you might be able to pick it up for 50 cents or a buck I found a brand new Dunkin Donuts coffee mug brand new they wanted two bucks for it. I grabbed it I, I, I took it home. I washed it through the dishwasher got a nice and clean had a cup of coffee with it It's just it was it was great. It was nice. I thought wow I'm gonna be able to use this for my Monday morning mailbag segment with Dunkin Donuts coffee and a Dunkin Donuts coffee mug and uh, I washed it I push it I put it in the dish rack I washed some other dishes and when I went to pull out some other dishes, it got caught. The mug got caught on something as I pulled out the dish or the cup or whatever I was pulling out. This mug came out, tumbled down, and shattered on the floor. Uh, <laughs> I was really, really disappointed. So I'll have to keep an eye out for um, another Dunkin' Donuts coffee mug. That's why I'm using a plastic coffee mug this morning. But that also leads me to let you know about a terrific article by Sheldon Quinn on his blog regarding the materials that go into making safety razors. And um, you'll read a lot of different reviews online where uh, wet shavers have a new razor or they've had a razor for three, four months and they accidentally drop it, it slips out of their hand and it hits the counter, or hits the floor and they'll break a center post or something else will break on it. Uh, and uh, they'll question the material that was used in making the razor. Well, Sheldon has a really interesting article on Zamac, the evolution of Zamac, and some of the other materials that go into making safety razors. It really is worth a read. So when I saw the, <laughs> the remnants of uh, my coffee mug laying on the floor there, the kitchen floor, um, I happened to read that article. Uh, gee whiz, a few hours, a day later, something like that, and I thought, wow, that would tie in nicely. So, yeah, check out that article. I'll have a link below, and uh, this is good coffee. Let's get to some questions here now. Uh, Alex BK44 commented in question and, and had a question on the synthetic brush talk video that I did. Uh, he asks, would you go with synthetic Vikings over Badger? Also, the new design, Dark Raven, looks like a nice option thanks well i love synthetic brushes i love synthetic brushes and i think uh if i'm looking at uh comparably priced brushes i'll go with the synthetic every single time i think that they are absolutely wonderful um you mentioned the dark raven i've got the fire mirror right here which is uh, terrific i like the size i like the softness of this i like the backbone uh, this felt like, to me, like a, a, a badger brush, even better than the badger brush. I know that the um, Vikings Blade makes this dark stallion badger brush, and this is a nice higher-end badger brush, uh, or mid-range mid badger brush, about $30, $35, somewhere in there. And um, it has a little bit of tooth to it, and it's soft. A little bit of tooth exfoliate the skin and the and the, and the whisker a little bit, and it does a nice job with creams. Their um, white knight uh, synthetic brush mimics uh, this uh, dark stallion uh, brush a little more closely in that it has a little bit of tooth exfoliate and it is soft. 
but it has that little bit of tooth, which I, I do like. I do enjoy having that to exfoliate the skin and lift the whisker a little bit. Whereas the um, the dark, uh, the Fire Mare and the Dark Raven, they don't seem to have that. They are softer, but they do an exceptional job. And I had to do a double take when I first used this. I thought this was a, a higher end Badger brush. Now, you know, I can't compare any of the synthetics that I have with say a silver tip badger brush. I, I've never used a silver tip badger brush. I don't have a silver tip badger brush, so I can't say how they compare to a silver tip badger brush. But you can get synthetic brushes in any size and any degree of softness with the variety of handles, like this Yaki 30 millimeter here that is, is terrific. This is a 30 millimeter from DS Cosmetics. I believe it's a 30 millimeter, it's not labeled. This is also another one, very, very nice soft knot a little more backbone than some of the others this one is from ray uh this is yaki 26 millimeter brush and again another nice handle design to it 26 millimeter see that and um i mean just a, a, a wide variety of softness now how do they compare with bore brushes well the higher end bore brushes are very very nice and they're they're moderately priced you can get a nice 90% tops bore hair, uh, like this one from Samog. This is the Excelsior 830, I believe. This one, uh, uh, when, once you break this in, this is a nice, nice brush. But still, it doesn't generate as much lather as a good synthetic. I just, you know, this is nice and soft. It does a great job. But I just think that the synthetic brushes do a much better job with shaving soaps and creating lather. They just make heaps and heaps and heaps of lather with shaving soaps. And I'm using them more so now with creams. I'm using with creams. And it's almost as if I'm, I've just weaned myself from the natural hair brushes. I can find these at great prices, anywhere from 20 to $30. Get some nice knots and some nice handles, some great performers. They're very, very soft. How long are they going to last? I don't know. I don't know how long, um, you know, a, a natural bore brush like this uh, Samoge 1800 is going to last. This is another one. This is 75 tops bore hair. Again, another higher end, about $18, $20 for this one. And this one is about $20, $25 for the uh, Excelsior. They're, they're great brushes, and I have nothing against natural hair brushes. It's just that I'm, I'm leaning more towards the synthetic brushes. I like the synthetic brushes, and... I used this one the other day, the White Knight, and it just gave me exceptional amount of lather from a shaving soap. It just did a great, great job. And um, I like them. They're easy to maintain. They're easy to clean. They retain a lot of water when you want them to. They throw off a lot of water when you want them to. They're great. Yeah, so uh, <clears throat> absolutely go with the synthetic brush. That's, that's my opinion. I hope that helped. Uh, okay. This, uh, the, these following comments and questions are from a previous Monday morning mailbag. Tom Saylor says, I have two of the new Gillette razors on order from Amazon. If Gillette wants to get into the U.S. market with their double-edge razors and blades, some serious investments will have to be made in advertising. Thanks for another enjoyable video. Thank you very much, Tom. Carmine says, thanks for the video, Mark. I ordered two of the Gillette limited edition razors not sure why, but what the hell? <laughs> That's kind of the way I was. I ordered mine as well to review here. There's been a lot of talk on the channel regarding this razor. I ordered one. I'm expecting it November 5th, and I will get it to you. I'll get that review to you ASAP. Um, Mike H. says, Hi, Mark. Great Monday morning mailbag. Thank you. I wish I was able to watch it earlier in the a.m., I did pre-order the new Gillette release. I would definitely agree with you and many of your viewers that wondered why it wasn't more along the lines of the tech or super speed. Yeah, that's a really good question. Why didn't they do that? Well, you are more than welcome to give mine a spin if you like. Hey, thanks very much. Uh, it would be my pleasure. I hope your week is off to a great start and best regards. Thanks very much, Mike. I appreciate that. But again, I pre-ordered mine. I'm all set. Uh, wrapping up the comments on this Gillette limited edition because a lot of discussion on this not only on my channel but other channels and around the web nihilistic existentialist says Gillette dropping a money grab a handle made in China and or India with an Edwin Jagger mule clone head 
and then putting their brand on it. People will still buy it because it says Gillette, but I won't buy it. As you said, they could have easily produced a tech or a super speed with Zamac. Again, Zamac, check out that blog article. Uh, cheap to make and way more interesting. Well, here's the interesting thing. Manic59 uh, has done some blog posts where he's already received his Gillette razor and he sat down and had a, an either an email conference or a telephone conference with Gillette representatives about this razor. And he asked, where is the razor manufactured? And they answered him, the handle is manufactured in the United States and the head is manufactured in Germany. That's surprising. Uh, so I am glad now that I bought that because uh, I do have something. It's made in the United States and it's made in Germany. So who knows? Gillette is Gillette making the handle and Mueller or Edwin? Well, yeah, Mueller is in Germany. I, I assume they're in Germany. Mer, Mueller, Merker, maybe they, they're making the, the razor head. Very interesting. And the next question he asked was, what materials uh, uh, is, the razor, is the razor made out of? The razor head and handle is made out of chrome plated alloy. Again, check out that article by Sheldon Quinn. It really ties into this whole discussion of what razors are made from and what they're making, what they're possibly could making, could be making this, what they could possibly be manufacturing this razor out of, what material they're manufacturing the razor out of. So that's really kind of an interesting twist. But I have mine on order, so as soon as I receive it, I will, uh, I'm going to do an unboxing uh, and a shave with it. Uh, I don't know, unboxing, a shave, separate videos, all together, I haven't decided yet, but uh, I should get mine on November 5th. The other thing is, also, when you go to the page now, when you went to the page, you could order it. When they released it, everyone was talking about it. It said, you know, hey, here it is, order it. Then, after a few days, it said limited quantity. And uh, when I saw that, I thought, well, you know what? I was kind of, okay, I'm going to go ahead and get it because there was so much talk on the channel regarding it. And um, now it says currently unavailable. So are they going to do another round of these? Uh, they have, they, have, they, have they sold out of, it, of an initial run? How many did they make? 500, 1,000, 10,000? That's the, that's the question I'd like to have answered. So it's, it's currently unavailable. But uh, hopefully, uh, with the response they got, hopefully they'll be making some more and releasing some more for the holiday season because they did say this was a holiday season release. So I, I would guess that they would, that come towards Thanksgiving, they will have ramped up manufacturing and they'll have a lot in place for the Christmas holidays if they've gotten this kind of response and already sold out on that first run. Very, very interesting to see. So time will tell, and when I get mine, I will definitely review it. Um, Albert Castro asked the question, do you shave your head with a double-edged razor? Reason why I ask is once in a blue moon, I shave my head bald. Yes, I do. And uh, I do this routine. Whatever, I shave, my, I shave my, my head up here, not the whole thing. I'm gonna get rid of this fringe. I think I, think I promised everybody here when I hit 3,000 subscribers, this is coming off and I'm also gonna do a giveaway. Um, but I shave this area here in the back of my neck uh, with a double edge razor. I love doing it that way. Uh, my routine is I shave it twice a week in the evening. And whatever razor I've used uh, that morning, that razor and blade combination, I just grab that and use that to shave my head. Uh, the other day I shaved it with this guy right here. This is the Thunder Razor from Global Shave Clubs International and Sheldon Quinn. It's a twist to open razor. Um, it's really a terrific uh, razor. It's on the aggressive side for me. And I've shaved with this several times. I've done a review. It's coming up this weekend. And um, I found this razor to be a very aggressive razor. It's supposed to be mid-aggression, but I found it to be a little more aggressive than that for me. But when I used it to shave my head, I got a beautiful shave up there. It's, it's almost as if I was just hitting the right angle, the correct angle, and I got enough blade feedback, uh, really felt the blade, had some nice protection up there from some shaving cream, don't get me wrong, um, and uh, really just uh, maybe one small little nick here, but I don't think that was my fault. I think it was just maybe a blemish or something that was there, uh, but it healed right up. And um, 
yeah, so I do use uh, a double-edged razor. So whatever I have, I'll use. I just happen to have this because I was using it and getting ready for the review. And this did a really, really nice job. This did better on my head than it did, I, I would say, on my face. It's aggressive. It's, it's on the aggressive side for me. But that aggression really worked well for my head shape. Um, I like to use longer handled razors when I do my head shave. So something like the Vulcan comes in really handy because I can put the blade in and lock it down and then, you know, grab the end of the uh, end of the handle and do the back of the neck very, very easily because of the longer handle. Sometimes I like to use an adjustable razor like the Vikings Blade Emperor uh, because I can dial it down. For instance, uh, July 6th, this past July 6th, where that was so close to the 4th of July weekend, I think at July 6th was a Saturday, I think, this past year. We had friends and family over, and, uh, you know, in running around trying to get uh, things ready, uh, I was going through a Lord low doorway, and I bumped my head right here, and I put a big gash on there, and I was not able to use a double-edged razor to shave my head. What I usually do is I go right to an electric razor because that wound is still fresh, and as it starts to heal, then uh, I'll wean myself off of the electric razor. I'll move over to a cartridge razor for a couple of shaves. Um, and then I'll use a, an adjustable razor on the lower settings. Kind of work my way back to using adjustable razor. So that's why these adjustable razors come in so handy because I can dial them down and I'm not afraid to use it close to where that wound is as it's as it's healing but i let it heal up for a good week or even two that one was really really bad and it's still i still got a little bit of a bump there from it that is still noticeable so hopefully that'll hopefully by by christmas time thanksgiving christmas that'll be all all healed but that was a really bad bad uh hit it's the only thing i don't like about not having hair is that if you bump your head like that or bruise your head, it's, you know, everyone sees it. But other than that, yeah, I'm going to be, uh, I use a double-edged razor. I love using a double-edged razor. But there are times when, because of bumping that head there, uh, you know, I don't, uh, I don't use it. I have to remember to wear a hat. So if that happens, the worst that will happen is it'll be a little straight. All right, um, that's it. Thanks very, very much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Please share. Please subscribe. Please like, hit that bell so it'll give me a yell the next time I upload a video. Uh, comment below, let me know. Check out my blog, georgetune.com slash blog for my comic strip George, other cartoons, other videos like this. Check out my Amazon product page at amazon.com slash shop slash Mark's Radio, where you'll find all the products I review on this channel, organized and categorized. You can find everything in a snap very easily. Thanks very, very much for tuning in. Make it a great week.